right, so here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion Alistair Overeem in D.C. It's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name The Ring. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K-1, Dream Champion, Strike Force Champion, has not held the UFC title but has competed for it before in his career and will be looking to earn another chance at the championship high-level striker, but the one thing that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great guillotine choke that he has that he's finished a number of opponents with. Alistair Overeem has stepped into the octagon. This time he wants to leave with that championship belt. Tyson's in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Last boxing competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This, feel, this felt like an eventuality, Tyson, on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much. He loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. has graced the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the champion fighting out of the red corner ladies and gentlemen presenting the reigning defending usc heavyweight champion of the world iron mark tyson herb dean Ready, our fight. referee for this Ready. one all right, so Alistair Overeem getting another big fight tonight, and one that maybe he didn't expect to come down the pike after much fanfare. Iron Mike Tyson indeed crossing into the octagon tonight. He's crossed into the octagon against a Dutch machine in Alistair Overeem. My question in regards to this matchup is how does Tyson close the distance without eating too many knees from Alistair Overeem? Tyson has got to stay off the center line. He cannot be in and out straight. He's got to be creating angles. And for Overeem, he's got to show Tyson right away, I'm the big bully in the octagon tonight. You don't belong here. You don't belong standing aside. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And now some separation. Gets to the single collar tie. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed in place there. And a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Nice punch, man. That oh, man. Oh, 
All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Got tagged a couple times. Nice combo up top. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. All right, side control now. Overeem's in half court. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by the ring. Oh, yeah, he's got him to sit tight. Oh, looks tight to me. Let's go, Steve. He's oh, no way. He got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm trying. Unbelievable. Wow. Big moments on both sides in round one. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round underway. And up so if he ain't Dutch, he ain't much. Beautiful land there by Alistair Overeem. Continues to cross train at different places. Finished up this training camp at Team Elevation there under Elliott Marshall in Colorado. Body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Rips the body there. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. strike he lands that cut gets worse yeah it's getting worse and he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up continuing to work out of the half guard ground and pound the hammer mark coleman would be proud oh nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again oh good shot landed there from the bottom all right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however, come. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble now. You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but stop the fight. Herb Dean steps in. Oh, my goodness. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. So how about that? What a moment.
moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding. Another big win for Tyson here tonight. And now you can start to think about matchmaking this guy moving.